We had a lot of crews. I remember when I first came out, there was crews out. I say when I first came out, I mean like around that 84, 85 era, when I first came out really bombing and going and train guys. It was crews up like ACW, it was a car crew. It was IAC from out south, CTA definitely. ABC and CTA were like the crews that were running it. I had been writing, but I was I was at home graffiti writer. Uh, what we used to call paper boys, guys are real good at just doing pieces on in their piece books, but never do a wall. And I was a paper boy. I say for my first two years, from '82 to '84. Then I started meeting really active writers. My first year, Von Steuben. You know, the up north scene was a real happening scene in Chicago. Actually, I think it had the most graffiti writers on it. Even though you had writers out south and you had a few out west, you know, like Trickster, when I met him, he was definitely one of the most active bombers at the time. He was doing, this guy was like doing pieces like at least a good four times a week. And most of them were all illegal. And at the same time, going to school and making it to school the next day and meeting up with writers after school. You know, we had a, we had a big scene. I think our heaviest scene in Chicago really ranged in between that 85 to 88 or 89. Writers here are more excited about what's going on in Europe than they are here now. And I still hear vice versa out there. They still love the stuff that's coming out of here. I don't think you can teach that style. I don't think you can teach somebody how to be abstract. Abstract is, I think, a feeling. It's an expression. Graffiti is, too. I think you can be directed at graffiti, not really taught. If you're taught, then you end up being a complete copy or clone with just a few different angles of trying to insert some of the type of... I don't know what you might call an original style or bit to something in your style, but for the most part, you got to branch off and do it on your own. You know, to an extent, I mean, I mean, it's, the CTA is a business, and they don't want anybody writing on their stuff, you know. And so I guess there I got to understand that is really the same way as when the, the graffiti writer rolled on the front of the building. It upset me. And you gotta think, if you come out to your family van and somebody got up on it, would you be mad? Yeah, you'd be mad. You come out to your garage in the morning, you see graffiti writers have just bombed it up. Yeah, you'd probably be mad, you know. I could see myself coming out, you know, got a wife and a family, and I come out to my garage and it's bombed, and my wife's losing her mind, and I'm like, yeah, baby, but that's kind of nice, though. <laughs> you know, I kind of dig that one. That's a, that's a nice little tag there, you know, but what can you do, you know? we. These names and identities that we've created, it's just like, actually, you know, it's in Naley's name. You create because you're going to be doing the legal work. You're not going to go, right, you know, going to go in the train yards and do a whole car that says, you know, stop the violence and then put your name and address on there. Even though I've seen writers now putting their emails up, and I might do that on permission walls or something, but, you know. It's kind of deep, you know, you're just inviting the police. I just heard this one writer who did a book. I forget what the name of the book was. I remembered it, but he um, got raided by the feds, you know. He did a book, and he wasn't as an, an active graffiti writer, but he had connects to every graffiti writer pretty much in the world who had been doing the legal works and everything, which I think that's, that's a heavy deal because here's this guy, as he's probably doing time just because of his love for that. You know, he's got his whole studio rated. I mean, everything. Computers, everything. Everything. Because it's, it's, it's a really, they consider, it's a lot of people that consider it a war. A war, you know, a dead out war. You kind of got to be careful of almost any and everything you do.